past week, there have been fights at area football games, some involving players, others, coaches, and in one case, a parent was arrested. Yeah, and all these incidents happened at rivalry games, so our colleague Quigley looked into what make Wake Forest police are doing to keep everyone safe at tonight's big rivalry game, Heritage versus Wake Forest. The Friday night lights are on in Wake County as Heritage High takes on rivals Wake Forest. Everyone's excited. I've been watching this game on the calendar all season. But earlier this week, tensions and fists flew at three other area games. On Thursday night, a resource officer in Wilson County used pepper spray to break up a fight between players at Fike and Hunt High Schools. <laughs> then players at South Central and Greenville Connolly brawled. After Thursday night's game, even the coaches got into a heated argument on the field. <laughs> And one parent was arrested for assaulting a player at a youth football game at Smithfield Selma High School Saturday. That's sad. Yeah, that's really sad. Yeah, I, that shouldn't happen. I would be appalled. I mean, you're not teaching your kids how to get along in the real world. You can't conduct your life that way. To be clear, there's been no fighting or anything like that here at the Wake Forest Heritage game. But because this is such a big rivalry, we wanted to check in with police to see if they've taken any extra precaution. A spokesperson told us they do have extra officers here tonight. Night, and that the SRO and police have worked closely together to come up with a plan beforehand to make sure everybody stays safe at the game. I hope nothing like that happens tonight, but yeah, that's a really good idea. Extra security. Pizza. But there won't be a problem between Little these two teams. Pizza. Most of these kids Town are all friends. Country. CBS 17 reached out to the North Carolina High School Athletic Association for comment about these fights and is waiting to hear back. Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News. All right, Colleen, thank you.